Hi, my name is Ian Duncan, and I'm the author of Scheme for PD, and also of Scheme for Max. Scheme for PD is an open source external for pure data, enabling you to script and live code pure data with S7 Scheme Lisp. And today, I'm going to show you how to get it installed on the Mac. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the GitHub page. It's ENCT Duncan Scheme for PD. There's a readme there with lots of information about the project and some links to tutorials that you might want to check out. And then we will go to the release tab. And we're going to download the 0.1 beta for Mac. And that's right here. Okay. You can see I've, I've already downloaded it, but let's do it again so I can show you the warning. It's downloaded. It will give you a little warning about it being dangerous on Chrome. So just say keep. Now we need to take this file and put it in our PD externals directory. Uh, by default on Mac, that should be documents PD. That's what, how I've got mine set up. And over here, I've got a window open with documents PD. So I'm just gonna drag this in there. There we go and unzip it. Once I've unzipped it, I should have an S4 PD directory. And if we take a look in there, we'll see the external ends with uh, PD underscore Darwin the help file, and a variety of .scm files. A couple of them are used in help, a couple of them are uh, optional, and a few of them are required. So s4pd.scheme, s74.scheme, and s4pdschedule.scheme are all essential for correct operation of the external. Okay, so now that that's in there, I'm going to uh, go to Pure Data, and I'm gonna make a new patcher, and I'm going to create an S4PD object. I'll just get rid of this, make things easier to see. Okay. Now, I'm going to make the S4PD object, and you can see we have some red error messages up top. And that's because while the S4PD external is being discovered, PD doesn't know where to look for the scheme files. So we're going to go to our preferences path and add the directory where we installed S4PD to our paths. Okay. This is important. The object exists, but it's not going to work properly yet. So new, I'm going to go to documents, PD, S4PD, add that directory. Now it's showing up in my paths. Okay, so let's uh, clear the console and try making the object again. Great, no red error messages, just S4PD initialized. So if that worked properly, uh, we should be able to open the help file and we should be able to send it some, uh, some scheme code. Let's do a hello world. I'm going to put in a message box with post the symbol hello world. And when we send a message to S4PD um, that is valid scheme code but missing parentheses, it treats it like the parentheses are there for you. So in this case, we are asking to post hello world to the console. Let's see if it worked. And there we go, we're in business, it's installed. So finally, let's take a look at the help file. And if all worked, you should get quite an extensive help file. It's got a lot of instructions, pretty much everything that S4PD does at this time is covered in the help file, either in the main window or in one of the sub windows, such as uh, this one for scheduling events. There's one for loading files rules about logging to the console, sending from outlets, etc. Okay, so that's it for installation on Mac, and I will, at a later date, show you first steps in getting going with it. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy.